Hi, I'm Megan. Please like and subscribe because My Story Animated will give $1,000 to one lucky person who subscribes in the next seven days. My American mom met my dad in London when she studied piano at university, and they got married and then had my older sister Susie. They moved back to the state so mom could work on her career, and then had me. Then they started having problems, and my dad thought it would be best to move back to London. But for some reason, Dad only loved Susie and ignored me all the time. On my fifth birthday, Dad bought her a PlayStation and beautiful dresses, while I only got a grumpy look from him. But Dad, it's my birthday. Why didn't you get me anything? Don't you love me? Oh, stop being such a crybaby. I told you, Mom, I only wanted one child. Susie was enough for me. But no, you had to come along. Seriously? He was such a jerk. And Susie always made sure to remind me she was his favorite. But thankfully, I had mom, and she loved me to bits. Then one night when I was eight, Susie and I heard mom and dad fighting like crazy. I know that child ain't mine. I know you cheated on me, you awful woman. OMG, is that why dad hated me all this time? Because I wasn't his daughter? Dad stormed out of the house with his bags and didn't even stop for Susie as she called out to him. I hugged mom and cried, but she convinced me that he was crazy and we were better off without him. But there was someone who was super pissed. Susie. Dad left because of you. You're the reason for everything bad, Megan. And I'm going to kick you out of our lives for good and bring him back. I thought she was just going to be mad for a while, but the next day, I screamed when I went into the bathroom. Stuck on the mirror was my head cut out from a photograph with the eyes poked out and red paint streaks on my face. Of course it was Susie. I found more of those pictures all around the house, and I showed them to mom, and she grounded her. Over time, I grew even closer to mom, and she discovered that I was great at playing the piano, just like her. She started teaching me, and by seventh grade, I was good enough to be selected as the key player of the school's music team. But Susie just couldn't live with that. On the day of the program, when I went on stage, I saw that my music notes had been burned. There was only a heap of ash on the piano with a note, hope you fail and keep failing for the rest of your life. You don't deserve happiness. Susie was a psycho and I was gonna kill her. I nervously started playing the music from memory and everyone in the audience loved my performance, except for Susie, of course. She looked fuming mad. As soon as I got home, I confronted her. What's wrong with you? Don't you think it's time to find something to do with your life besides being a pain in my butt? My life? You ruined my life, my happiness, my family. I'm not going to let you breathe in peace, Megan. Just you watch and wait. OMG, she was unbelievable. But then what happened next shocked me even more. My left hand suddenly grabbed her hair and smashed her face into the cake mom got to congratulate me. She screamed as loud as she could and mom came running. What did you do now, Susie? But it wasn't Susie this time, it was me. And I had no idea what had just happened. I ran out of there all confused. A few days later, I was taking my math test in class, but I couldn't figure out any of the answers. I started to panic when suddenly, my left hand grabbed the test paper of the girl sitting next to me. She screamed in shock. And up next, detention. What the freaking heck? What was wrong with my hand? Susie couldn't wait to break the news to mom. As soon as we reached home, she started screaming. Look, mom, your favorite has made you so proud. She got detention for cheating. Mom looked at me in shock, but I just ran up to my room. Later that evening, I told her what had been happening with my hand, and the next day, she took me to the doctor. And it turned out, I had a strange condition called alien hand syndrome, where my left hand acts like it has a brain of its own. It's more likely to get out of control when you're experiencing extreme emotions, like stress. What? Then what about my career as a pianist? I freaked out and my left hand smashed the doctor's instruments into the wall. I decided to keep it a secret from Susie because I didn't want her to tell the world that I was a freak. I thought my life was just ruined. But at least I had my best friend, Max. He never visited me at home anymore because once Susie had put so many chilies in his food, he ended up in the hospital. I didn't tell him about my hand, but he could tell I was bummed out. 
so he took me out for ice cream that evening. As we were walking back home, he suddenly turned to me. Um, you have ice cream on your nose. Do you mind if I... Saying that, he moved closer, and my heart started beating a bit faster. Uh, what was he doing? He leaned in to kiss me, and I ended up slapping him really hard. Not my freaking alien hand again. Oh, Max, I'm so sorry. I really didn't mean to. It's just, I... No, it's my fault. I should have asked you first. I'm sorry. Saying that, he ran off. I felt so terrible. A couple of days later, I was looking for him everywhere to apologize, and I found him making out with some girl in the music hall who was none other than freaking Susie. Oh my god, Max! Why are you kissing my sister? What are you, the kissing police? I can kiss whoever I want. You missed your chance when you slapped me. Oh, you obviously deserved more than that. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, Hulk. He's my boyfriend, and we've been dating for a whole day now. Susie, you know he's my best friend. Why are you such a jerk? Jerk? You're the jerk here, always wanting to take away my happiness. I'm not going to let you do it, Megan. So keep your paws off him. Saying that, she grabbed his hand and stormed out of the music hall. She just wanted to take away everything from me, even my best friend. Days passed and I focused more on my music. In the 10th grade, I had a chance to audition for a spot at the best music academy in the country. I was super excited for it. I reached the venue an hour early, but as I was waiting for mom backstage, Susie called me on my cell phone and she was crying hysterically. Megan, you have to hurry. Mom met with an accident on her way to you, and she's in the hospital now. Did that <laughs> witch really think I'd believe her? But I called mom ten times and she just wouldn't answer. That's when I started to panic, so I quickly hailed a cab and rushed to the hospital. Halfway through, I suddenly got a call from mom. Honey, my phone was on silent and I didn't even know. I just saw all your calls. I'm at the venue. Where are you? OMG. <gasps> I couldn't believe Susie had played me. I got stuck in traffic on the way back, and I arrived 10 minutes late for my performance. As the judges glared at me, I sat down shakily and tried to calm down, but I was so flustered. The performance started out fine, but only after a few minutes, my left hand went bonkers, and it turned into a complete nightmare. As people started to laugh, I ran off the stage in tears. I was so embarrassed and furious at Susie. She was so cruel. When mom and I got home, I walked straight to Susie and slapped her hard in the face. I can't believe you'd stoop so low to hurt me. You ruined my performance. Do you have any idea how important it was for me? Yeah, I do, and I don't care. Just like you people don't care about me. Mom has always loved you and supported you, but me? After dad left, she just abandoned me. Oh, honey, what are you talking about? I love you as much as I love Megan, but you always pushed me away, and I felt you hated me. Oh, yes, I do hate you. I hate you for making me feel left out. You two even have your own little secrets, don't you? Yes, I know all about Megan's condition, and I was just waiting to use it against her at the right time, and it all worked out wonderfully. I was about to attack her again, but mom stopped me and Susie stormed off. I was never going to speak to that witch again, ever, but I could still annoy the heck out of her. I hooked up my piano to some large speakers and played like crazy day and night right outside her room. I started making videos of myself while playing and uploading them on my YouTube channel. Once I even composed a song especially dedicated to her. If you know any Susie, just be aware. Even if she's your sister, please take care. My sister can't see me happy. No, just never. My witch sister hates me forever and ever. The next day, I had hundreds of comments on that video. People loved my little composition, and they even sent me sympathetic messages about their own mean sisters. And a few days later, I got an email from a famous music producer saying he saw some real talent in me and that he'd like me to work with him on a new album. What? Could it be that I was dreaming? This was insane. Soon after, my first album came out and it became a huge hit, and I was on freaking cloud nine. After that, I was playing at concerts and even went on a music tour with Taylor Swift. 
Then one day, the bell rang and Susie opened the door. I went running when I heard her screams. Standing in the doorway was Dad? OMG, Dad, I knew you'd come back for me. I missed you so much. What took you so long? But suddenly, he just pushed Susie aside and came running to me. Oh, my daughter, my lovely, talented, famous daughter. I knew you'd make me proud one day. What are you saying, Dad? I'm your daughter, Susie, the one you love the most. You're not my daughter. You're the reason I left this house in the first place, cause you aren't my own blood. What? This was crazy. All this while, I thought I wasn't his kid, but turns out Susie wasn't? She burst into <laughs> tears when she heard this, but Dad wouldn't stop. I don't know whose worthless child you are. Megan is my only daughter. Just stop it, Dad. You're not Susie's dad, and you're not mine either. You never loved me, and then you just abandoned us all. You're not fit to be anyone's dad, and don't you dare talk to my sister that way. Just then, Mom stepped in, looking furious. You crazy, horrible man. I never cheated on you, and they're both your daughters. But you wouldn't believe me. Well, you don't deserve either of them, you selfish creature. Dad looked at Susie and said that he loved her and that she needed him. You only came to get Megan's money. You never loved me, and I blamed Megan for it. I thought she was the reason why you left me. But I realize now, you're just a terrible gold digger, Dad, and I don't want to see your face again. So leave, now. And then Susie kicked him out of the house. I'm so sorry, Megan. I was so mean to you all this time. I was such a moron for treating you like an enemy, and I don't deserve to be your sister. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I'm very sorry. Everything you did to me affected me badly. I don't know if I'm ready to forgive you, but I believe in second chances. I really hope you change. <laughs> but for now, we can start with a hug. Susie hugged me and mom joined us. I love you, my precious daughters. Everything will be fine as long as we're together.